If you clicked on today's video, you're wondering what is the best spreader out there. And I'm not gonna have a long introduction. I'm not gonna put it at the end of the video like some of these other people do. I'm gonna tell you right now what the best spreader is. The best spreader out there is a Scott's Mini Edge Guard. So I've had this spreader here for about five years now, and the only thing I've really done to this spreader is just clean it. I leave it out in the elements. I don't put it in my shed. The only thing I really do, which is probably a bad thing, but I keep it clean. I wash it after every application. Make sure I wash the inside, the outside, everything. Get all the gunk off, all the dust off the spreader, and I haven't had a problem since. So the great thing about the Scott's Mini Edge Guard is obviously it's cheap, it's affordable. If something breaks on it, I could throw it out. This one obviously only covers 5,000 square feet. They do sell a bigger model, obviously. I believe that covers 15,000 square feet, but don't mark my words on that. But again, size doesn't matter, guys. Unless you ask your significant other or your wife, they might tell you otherwise, but that's another subject. We're talking about spreaders. And when it comes to spreaders, guys, it's not about the money you spend on a spreader, if it's $300, $400, dollars It really, it's about how you use it. And when I say it's about how you use it, it's because you should be weighing out your fertilizer when you're throwing down your fertilizer applications. You just don't throw a ton out. What I like about weighing out your fertilizer is you know that you're applying the right amount. You're not over applying and you're not under applying. And what I mean about over applying or under applying is this section of lawn right here behind me, this is about 800 square feet. And what I do is I always calculate exactly out how much I need in these areas of my lawn. There's a bunch of different tools out there. I'll leave them linked below. You can draw out your areas of your yard. And then from there, you can get your square footage of your yard. So for instance, like I said, this is about 800 square feet. Purdue University has a free calculator. I'll leave it linked below. You can go check it out. All you have to do is put the analysis of what your fertilizer is in that calculator. And then you can put in your target rate of your nitrogen. And then from there, you know exactly how much you're putting down. So as you can see here on the side of the screen, I calculated out this 800 square feet for you guys. So it's a really cool example. So for my first application a year, my analysis on my bag was 1825. Again, your analysis could be anything. It could be something different. It could be a 3005, a 26010, anything. You just plug that in and then you're just going to put in your target rate of N. So for me, my first application a year, I put down three quarters of a pound of nitrogen. So 0.75. And then from there, this section of my lawn, as you could see, I only needed a little bit above three pounds for my 800 square feet right here. And then it also shows you how much you would need if you did a thousand square feet, which is great as well. And then from there, you could see all I would need is a little bit above four pounds per 1000 square feet to put down three quarters a pound of nitrogen of my 1825. So that's a really great tool by Purdue University. Obviously it's free. And then when I get done weighing out my fertilizer, I always put a bucket on my scale. I always make sure I tear my scale down to zero. It's really important to tear that scale down to zero. When you put your bucket on the scale, you don't want to get that weight of that bucket. And from there, you just pour in exactly how much you need. So again, for this section, I needed a little bit above three pounds of 18.25 to put down that quarter pound or the three quarter pound of nitrogen for this section. And then from there, I just put it in my spreader. And then if you're really not sure about what setting you want your spreader on, you just throw it down to a lower setting. For me, I usually keep it between a four and a five. And then from there, I just evenly go around my yard. If I gotta do a couple extra passes, that's fine. As long as you're evenly distributing the sp uh, spreader or the fertilizer out of your spreader, you should be good. Because the, the main thing is, is you're putting down exactly how much you need for that section in your spreader and you're spreading it out. So again, just if you're not comfortable, put it on a lower setting and you should be good to go. So there you have it guys. The best spreader in my opinion is just a regular Scott's basic mini edge guard. If you have any questions on today's video, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. If there's anything you don't think I covered or if there's anything you don't agree with, please put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. I love having conversation with people. If you have a disagreement with me and you don't disagree on something, please don't be afraid to leave a comment. DM me on Instagram, please. It's fine. We can have a conversation, guys. It's We can go back and forth. This is just in my opinion. This is what's worked for me. Five years now, haven't had a problem with it. And in my opinion, you can't go wrong. 
If you enjoyed today's content today, guys, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. Again, you can follow me on Instagram. If you're in for a good laugh and you love to laugh out loud, check out my TikTok. It's a lot of fun, guys. I'll guarantee you that you will laugh out loud. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.